So this is an MNIST letter classifier in Excel. And what's happening is from the 120,000 training examples that I pulled from the MNIST data set, um, uh, 20,000 test examples, it's pulling a letter at random uh, and it's displaying it here. This is an L and quite amazingly the model's assuming it's an L or guessing it's an L. But it's actually, it, it is an L. If I click through some more, a B, so it's got uppercase and lowercase in it and the model's predicted B, um, R, so it's, it's looking pretty good, but it's only 74% accurate. I've actually got it up to 85% now, but it's taken three days and nearly a million iterations to get there with the learning rate slowly descending. So my learning curve, because this is the result of, I think, about uh, a day's run, uh, bottomed out at um, 200,000. I just didn't have enough space in the buffer that I'd created um, to, uh, to store the data. Um, the confusion matrix here shows what's being presented to the model, A to Z, and what the model assumes it is. So when it's right, you get on the diagonal. When it's not, you get a mess, and clearly some confusions with I, I, and L, as you see. Now, I'm going to obliterate this buffer now, and I'm going to do a quick test to see how that comes along. So I'm saving the parameters that we've learned over the last day, but I'm going to reset that so that we you know, can start blank and I'll do say uh, 500 letters and I'll run a test. So this is taking letters from the test database. It's not really going to be higher than the 75% we, percent we trained to, although it might. Um, but clearly, you know, on the 85% I should get even higher on that. So it's looking pretty good. You're getting a very good kind of definition. A spreadsheet has been able to learn the fundamental nature behind these letters, i.e. the human is trying to represent a, a T or a C or an S, uh, and the spreadsheet's got pretty high. Now this model is three layers. It's got 50 neurons, 26 neurons, and then the 26 third layer neurons. I put momentum in it, which dramatically speeded things up, but clearly not enough. And uh, what I really need to do, I think, is add RMS prop. So put the optimization as Adam, which Andrew Eng advises me is the way to go on my current training course that I'm doing on machine learning. Um, so the, 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 uh, the numbers down here are from the final output layer of the neural network, and it's what, what the neural network sees as the most probable letter. Uh, and so there's some confusion on certain letters, but generally it's pretty spiky, and it's showing, you know, it's 26th letter, 25th letter, etc. along there. This is now at sample 300, and I think we're getting a hit rate of 81%. I think it's above the training set just because it's a statistical anom anomaly, but you, know, you never know. Maybe my training set has caught the essence uh, better than I thought, and the, and the test set is, is more realistic, but I'm not that far in the course to tell you. Um, uh, there's a few interesting things that it's that it's doing. I'll show you that now that it's stopped running. Um, if we nip over to the where the neural net is, this is entirely in, in Excel. The parameters are here. That's the first layers M and C, uh, and then the output, which is um, uh, y equals mx plus c. That's the input. So 784 letters or rep elements of the letter. Then it becomes a sigmoid to make it non-linear, so you get some character on it. Below I've got the, uh, the gradient, which you need for the back prop. And then down here I've got the parameters of momentum, which is a very, you know, it's a really pretty algorithm that kind of sums exponentially, sums the historic gradient, so that if you're jumping about on your contour curves and your gradient's going plus, minus, plus, minus, it, it cancels that out and gives you the general trend. This is layer two, same sort of pattern. You've got the y equals mx plus c for the output of the layer. And the gradient, if you look at dz, that's the, the, the gradient of this layer, it's um, calculated from j. Let me find out where it's calculated. That is from the output of layer 2, um, the gradient of layer 3, and the parameters of layer 3. And again, these, these equations are straight out of Andrew Eng's course, and they flow pretty well. Um, and that the final cost function is a um, it's multiple classification, so it's softmax, uh, and it says well, what letter are we being shown? Letter twenty. Uh, what's the cost function for this uh, based on that being letter twenty? But did I get it right? So in this case, I think I did get it right. We're being presented with a twenty, and uh, the output of layer three says it's a twenty. Fundamentally, that's it. That's my M missed 
letter classifier. I'm going to work on this. I'm going to put in RMS prop. I think I can get the accuracy way up above uh, 90%, but let's see. I shall report back.